on. No, wait. Hey, Bob, uh, this is Bill, and we're here with the League of Unpaid Film Critics. We're all thinking about you during this time, and uh, we, we each want to send you a little message. So with that, hand it over to Terry. Hey, Bob, I'm, I'm really fortunate that I came into town here in uh, Hardwick, Vermont, and caught an email, or actually a, a voice message from Mike sanders and so i was able to jump in on this impromptu zoom meeting and uh i just wanted to say i've always uh, appreciated your efforts every week at uh tying everything up and um you know letting us know what's going on uh obviously i haven't been there for a while but uh yeah just we just wanted to well, we all just wanted to say hi, and uh, we're all thinking of you. So it's back to Bill. All right. Um, well, uh, Bob, I was, uh, you know, I, I wrote down a few thoughts on this, and uh, I go back to when Mike, he called us all, you know, and he asked us to be a part of this uh, movie club. And I thought, I don't know if I have time for all this. You know, I'm a busy guy. <laughs> and uh, so I, I uh, you know, I, I soon learned, soon learned that doing this stuff with your friends was, was so worthwhile and, and uh, such a, a bonding experience that I was really happy I got into it and uh, all that. And, you know, during, during our times doing this, we've, we have really gone through some, some wild and crazy experiences. I mean, when you think about COVID, and Trump and and Russia now invading it's we've really seen some events in in just the short like two years that we've all all been together doing these things and uh I think that we've almost we've all become closer friends and uh almost like family at this point so I just want to say that uh I love you Bob and and uh I'm praying for your recovery so uh even though uh, the movie I picked, you didn't like that much. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, do get well and uh, and off to Jeff. Hi, Bob. We um, of course missed you at, at the meeting, and we uh, I think it heightened all of our awareness that uh, you are such a critical part of our meetings and our friendships. Your historical acumen is amazing and your literary endeavors to put the minutes together have also been awe-inspiring everybody here has recognized that so we are wishing the best for you we hope for a speedy recovery and that all is well um, we will be thinking of you more or less constantly um, so keep us posted now on to mike mahoney Hey, Walsh, how you doing? Um, this is, without a question, the worst video that uh, you'll ever see. There's no production <laughs> values involved. The writing is poor. Whitaker is criticizing us about the arc, uh, the, the whole thing. So uh, uh, the, you can pass on, uh, on on a critical review of this as much as, uh, as Jeff just said, uh, we enjoy your writing and uh, you display such uh, such a fine uh, hand with a pen and uh, and a clever outlook on this. Uh, I think I can speak for all of us uh, when I say that we are sending all of our good light to you. Um, you're a valuable friend to all of us. Uh, your insights, your humor, uh, the pride I think we take uh, all having uh, you as uh, being able to call you as a friend uh, is really special. And so uh, uh, the light has been going to you for some time now, and it will continue, my friend. And here's Mr. Masson. Bob, we, uh, we all miss you, and I, I feel bad to know that Gary will wrap this up poetically, but um, being fifth out of eight, um, I, I agree altogether with Bill saying that uh, you've made us all family by keeping that midweek newsletter, uh, keeping us informed, giving us humor. And uh, as we've mentioned, your 
uh, historical perspective and literary perspective has really been a treat. And we've enjoyed these two years. We wish you the very, very best and uh, hope that you get home soon to enjoy uh, grandchild and uh, the love of Karen. And we just think the world of you and, and wish you wish you well. And with that, uh, we're on to Mr. Pete. Hi, Bob. Uh, obviously, I echo everything my colleagues have stated. Uh, I actually thought about the contributions you make, not only your weekly uh, wrap up, but your contributions during our calls, your insight and perspective. I think uh, everyone has mentioned it so far, so it, there's no doubt about that. I'm the newest guy in the group. I don't have the history with you, uh, friendship wise, as some of these guys go way back with you, but I certainly have enjoyed my time with you on these calls. And uh, I, I just uh, want you to know as a fellow fish eater, uh, I have put you to the top of the prayer list at Redemptorist. And uh, also uh, I, I, I pray for a speedy recovery if for no other reason, because in your absence, we will be subjected to Bill Barnhart's wrap up reports which frankly do not hold a candle to the ones that we have seen from you over the years. So anyway, uh, with that, good luck, Godspeed, and I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Sanders. Uh, Bob, you're one of the most incredible people that I've met in my life uh, for a number of different reasons. And uh, I counted uh, a fortune of mine that I can call you my friend. You've given me many memories over the years, over the decades of uh, different kinds of uh, journeys that we've gone through and I will always cherish them. And I just want you to know that uh, Teague and I love you very, very much. And we hope you the very best, uh, however it may come out. And now on to Mr. Whitaker. Hey, Bob, when uh, we had our League of Unpaid Film Critics meeting on Monday and it was clear that you were not gonna be there and we shared the news of why, um, I think it put a different perspective on the, the league and, and it highlighted what glue you are to us. I think you're the one who named us the League of Unpaid Film Critics and you uh, kept us uh, going forward with uh, your wrap-ups weekly. And then during the Zoom calls, I don't know that anybody has a better perspective, both historical and artistic than you. So, you know, just from that point of view, you're missed and we want you back as soon as possible. But from a friendship point of view, um, I value our conversations. And uh, one of my favorite memories is being able to convince you to come with me to spring training and see the Cardinals so that everybody else knows not only does he have, a, you know, a cinema and book history, his, his Cardinal history is rich. But when he's <laughs> at a spring training game, he turns into a little kid. And to see that you still have that joy for life, um, is inspiring and I want it to return as soon as possible. And I'm holding a ticket for you for a game that we're to attend in September. And my prayer is that you're back on your feet, back in your Cardinal red and next to me at a Cardinal game in September. So from all the members of the League of the Unpaid Film Critics, a speedy recovery. Thank you for the friendship you've given us up to this point. We look forward to many days and many laughs ahead. Get well, Bob. Bye-bye. God bless, Bob. God bless, Bob. We love you. Bye, Bob. Take care. Two thumbs up.